nodding their heads, say, yeah, 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 that's what I, that's what I think. <laughs> Try to come over joking, got nothing. Some level one armor, level one melee attack is being researched by the by the orc players. Yeah, wave, and yeah, I'm over here, dumbass. <laughs> anyway, there's an um some cre oh, okay the, the I think the undead to try to creep the red camps is gonna get discovered by that peon. Here comes an entire orc army. Nice dive. I don't think I don't see how that's gonna be cost effective in the long run. But it's, it's but it's uh, effective to keep the gargoyle count down to use the bat rider to dive into the gargoyle uh, gargoyles. Um, here's a sleep on the blade master, and here we go. We're gonna see ghouls in the ground stood it out while in the air. There's another different combat, and the gargoyles are going down because uh, one rider's an outnumbers gargoyles. It's not even fair. I think gargoyles cost them roughly the same as the one riders. But they take the two food count instead of four, so you can mass a lot of gargoyles versus the wind riders. Granted, you have the economy to back it up, but uh, I gotta tell you, if if you were to play undead, the economy is your worst enemy. You never have enough gold as undead. And of course, you never have enough have enough gold for as any race. But gold is especially precious for you if you're undead. You need to account every single piece. Every single gold piece. Nice dust. What? What is Terra doing? Is he backpacking? What? He dust. Oh, okay. There's a shade on there, man. So okay, I get it. There's a shade following the DK, so the so the blade master is gonna get automatically revealed. I don't know if the Grubby's gonna suspect it's shade though. Uh, I don't know if he. Oh, what the hell? A freaking a shop. Oh, that shade almost got revealed by the dust. Man, that was lucky. And anyway, there's a proxy shop and uh, another building going down next to the tavern. I couldn't read it, what it is. I guess uh, to counter this, to counter this mass fiends and ghouls, um, the the orc could just need to get some raiders in the distant mining. What the? What's Grubby doing? Grubby has enough lumber. It looks like there's a codal beast. That's a one way to counter a, a few fiends, but not gonna not not a good idea for long run. Um, I don't think pearls will get torns ever because torns are a waste of money and uh, food count. <laughs> uh, yeah, the uh, Kodo Beast and the uh, Grounds will do it just to counter fiends. Maybe a torn chief and the third hero, but I don't think Orc wants to get third hero because their their food is a kind of precious for them. And uh, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of people in that freaking stage. Holy crap. Oh man! And notice how Chinese never uh, hide their face in front of the camera; they wave. And Koreans always whoa, whoa, whoa! That shade gets that shade gets revealed. Koreans always uh, hide, try to hide their face. Um, I don't know why. Maybe they're extra shy. And uh, yeah, Blade Master gonna get revealed by another shade following the DK, and the Blade Master gonna go back away. Meanwhile, the entire that orc army is gonna get creepjacked. Let's see a big battle it's about to break up at the seven o'clock uh, and or cheese with a good score of score of speed. Another battle is gonna join. And let's see some Ness. Ness Oh you gotta target the bad riders. Why are you targeting the wind riders? I have no idea what he's doing. He target I think the fiend net uh I think a uh, wind rider and two bad rider uh two bad riders, I think that's what I think. And the go over corruption is on on the Dread Lord for some reason. And there's a one router he netted. That's gonna get focused down. And uh, uh -huh. nice coil to kill a raider. I don't know if that's uh, efficient use of coil, but uh, these air units aren't gonna melt uh, if the ghouls has frenzy, vampire core, and the and the fiends have webs. And sleep. I think the Kodo beast devour a fiend is gonna try to back away. I think the dreadlord try to the Kodo beast to sleep. We all these air units. Grubby needs to back away these air units because they are getting netted as we speak. A web as we speak, not netted. Net as a, uh, and more goals being streaming in. And I think Grubby needs to change his unit uh, unit composition to more raider than uh, wind riders because wind riders are lost cost. But the blade master is way too imbalanced. Look at him; he's wailing down the undead units, and the fiends are gonna get focused down. And undead has gonna have nothing left because of blade master. If, uh, if the Warcraft has a count, has a oh, there goes the dread lord. Ah, Chinese guys really happy, particularly ha particularly happy about the death of the Dreadlord. <laughs> maybe he, uh, maybe he uh, is he's been haunted by the Dreadlord for quite some time. And he, his 
You love to see the dreadlord die. Okay, and they lost every possibly every possible unit except uh, the DK and a bunch of shades. And the and that has a turtle in the base. Meanwhile, the orc can just do anything he wants. I think Gravity is gonna expand and creep the any any camp he wants on the entire map. And uh, DK maybe is ballsy enough. There are some raiders. Okay, there are some. That's what I'm talking about. If the DK is ballsy enough, he can come out and do some creep jacking. But it, but the raiders and strata hunters on the field. I don't think DK wants to screw 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 around too much. Yeah, he's worried. There's no way he's gonna come back. The, he lost the entire army. I think Grubby lost about three three ground units and a bunch of air units in that battle. But the hero was in completely intact. I don't know that. I don't know if that's a good idea to creep this red camp with uh, nothing but frenzy ghouls in the level three or four DK. It is possible. But if you got Jack, that's automatic GG. I think. Oh, here comes the blade masters. That's what I was talking about. You have to TP out of there. Oh man, I, I don't know if that's worth it. I don't, I don't gotta see the item on that thing. Um, okay, it looks like it's uh, um, oh, I can't even read that thing. Um, the resolution is so poor. I'm, I apologize for this. The resolution on this video is so poor, I can't even read what the item was. It looks like Gravity's gonna like, clear out the map, creep out the map, whatever you name it. I want to see what three o'clock. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the three o'clock has a blur on it <laughs> on my on my screen, so I. So I know something's going on at three o'clock. Um, not nine o'clock. Whoa, what am I talking about? Uh, I don't, I don't know clock anymore. This is why my uh, commentary is late. Oh, ho, ho. and the dragon's gonna get focused down by the one riders, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, let's see the item drop on the, from the dragon. I'm sure the shadow horns are gonna get so buffed, and it's not gonna be matter. Uh, let's see, it's gonna be a boost of uh, boost of agility. Whatever, it's a plus six agility item. It's really nice on the shadow hunter, I should say. But the blade master is gonna be nice on the blade master. Blade master can just go in and harass. Oh, never mind. There's a shade. It's gonna say why Gravy hasn't used his blade master to harass the harass the economy, but apparently there's a shade there. And shadow hunter picked up a score of his healing and the and the potion emo. So, so uh, yeah, I don't think Gravy's in the next fight. Gravy's gonna lose any unit. A level four shadow hunter and a level four blade master. It's pretty hard to break. Maybe level three. Um, I take that back. Level three blade master. There's no way blade master is going to be almost level five. Le level four. Maybe it is level four blade master. I can't even read the whole thing. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to read it. Oh, it is a level five blade master. Okay, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, from the from the critical strike uh, and attacking speed of the blade master, I think it was level four. And now it just hit level five, and Grabby is not gonna mess around anymore. He's gonna go straight in, and yeah, I don't think Undead has any anything left. Uh, if I were Undead player, I would have sold that Sacrificial Pit a long time ago. After getting two shades, I would have sold that. I would have sold that Sacrificial Pit and summon it, whatever you call it. And the goals are forced off lumber. You know, the blade master is in slept. And uh, pros would have just used a uh, use some units. Oh, okay. Use some units to um, wake the slept hero. Looks like it was a it was a book of the dead. As on the it was on the dread lord. And uh, the grab is gonna back away from the book of the dead because there are way too many melee units in the in the in the fight. Oh, uh, dread lord's gonna get picked off. There goes the dread lord again. Where is that DK during the whole time? I, I don't see a coil on that Dreadlord at all. Dreadlord has a half HP left on him, and DK still didn't want to coil him. And now this is an up uphill battle now for for the undead player. These ghouls are without a vampire core is practically useless. Statues it helps, but that's not gonna matter. Vampire core is what keeps the ghouls more uh, more than they are worth. And the DK just gets surrounded. DK has nothing, no TP or no potion on him. There goes DK, GG, uh, Terra. So Grabby won the game handily. Pretty one-sided game, I have to say. Just like every other game uh, Grabby played in the group stage. And yeah, he's going to be a very heavy, heavily favored. I'm going to say it again. Gra an Oak player is going to win WGG 2009 this year. Yeah, Terra is pretty disappointed. He shouldn't be. He's playing against a defending champ. Oh, I don't know what he's thinking about. Anyway, as, as I called it a month ago, I'm going to call it again. An Orc player is going to win WCG 2009. 
and I'm not afraid of looking like an idiot if uh, Moon wins the whole thing. <laughs> uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoy the game and see you in other replays.